What's up? Welcome back to another video. We're going to solve the Pindley round 2 problem and uh, we're going to solve the second problem that is known as split sort. So let's see what the problem states. So you'll be given a permutation uh, P1 to Pn and these are, will be the integers from 1 to n. For those of you who don't know, permutation is just like an arrangement of numbers. So if it is like 1 to n, uh, they just arranged, rearranged 1 to n numbers. Now you can change the permutation by applying the following operation 0 or more times. So they gave some rules telling that you have a permutation you just try to do something with it the rule is like you take a number x from the permutation and write down the numbers less than x by following the same order and write down the numbers greater than or equal to x on the same order and then concatenate both then join both that is a new permutation then use that permutation to repeat the process again and again so that means what for example they gave right six four three five two one so in this case six four three five two one if we assume that x has 4, what is our first step? We need to write down all the numbers less than 4. That is what uh, 3, 2, 1. Order should be same. And what is the number greater than or equal to 4? 6, 4, 5. So that is 6, 4, 5. So this is the new, uh, new uh, permutation. So, okay, we got the rule. Now, what are we supposed to do here? So we have to tell that... Uh, we have to perform these operations some number of times and tell that at what time the permutation will be from 1 to n. So if you just keep on doing it, there will be a chance that it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So when will this happen? That we should report. We did one operation. So like that you have to do like uh, n number of operations or k number of operations something. We need to report the minimum number of k operations so that this uh, permutation is arranged to a sorted sequence that is from 1 to n. Now, uh, let's understand this uh, first with the help of an example and then uh, we'll try to figure out the solution. In this case, they gave 6, 4, 3, 5, 2, 1. First, what did they do? They took the x value as 4. If x value as 4, all the numbers that are less than 4 is 3, 2, 1 and 6, 4, 5, right? And then they took, the, they took this permutation and applied x equal to 6. If x equal to 6 means, the, are there any numbers greater than 6? Nothing. So 6. Then this will be same 3, 2, 1, 4. 5. Now, what did they do? They took x value as 3. If we take x value as 3, all the lesser numbers are 2 and 1 already exist. So, you push the 2, 1 family and uh, then 4, 5, 6 is there. So, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, these are greater than or equal to 3. Now, x equal to 2. If x equal to 2 means what? You have to just take this 2 and put the number less than 2. That is 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are greater than or equal to 2. So you got this in a set of like four operations. They are telling that within four operations, you'll be able to, when you apply this, uh, you'll be able to get the numbers from one to n. That's all. So what is happening here is, uh, there is no, nothing called as um, swap or reverse or something like that. They just clearly told, if a number is greater than uh, a num, if you take x, if a number is greater than x on the left side, you should push all those numbers on the right side. Similarly, if a number is greater than, uh, if a number is less than in the right side, you should put on the left side. So since both conditions are there, we'll take one condition. That is, if a number is greater than uh, this number on the right side, we put it to the uh, on the left side. We'll keep putting to the right. So if we keep doing it, what happens? The uh, it will be initially be, it will be sorted anyway. So in this case, let's say six four three five two one right. If we take one as x all these numbers will definitely be moved to right and if we take two what all numbers can move everything on the left will be moved so what is the relation that uh, we can engage here if we take one six four three five no one is touching okay six four three five two they all belong to same family that set will be moved for two also if we take this set will be moved so there should be someone who should break the bond right who is breaking that bond so that uh, if we observe, we understand that any number that is consecutively bigger than that, just one step bigger, is what uh, changes it. Suppose if I take 1, we understand that 6, 4, 3, 5, 2 is coming, right? So there is no 1 to 2. 2 will automatically rearrange to itself. So in the next step, if you take 2, so, if you, so this one we took. If we take 2, we get 2 here. 1 is already done, right? here and uh, who can come 6 4 3 5 okay now you take again 3 here if we take 3 here 1 2 is already arranged 3 comes and uh, it is 6 4 5 
Now, again, if you take uh, 4, you can say that 4 will come here. Greater than number is what? 5 and 6. So, it is all arranged. So, how many? So, what did we do here? First, we took 1. Just for understanding purpose, we got this number. Then again, we applied one more operation that is making it as 2. Then again, we applied one more operation. Then again, we applied one more operation. How many we got? We got like 4. So, operations are 4. Now, we ha don't have to do anything because this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is already sorted. So, we are what we are doing is any number that is just immediately greater than that number only one step greater one only one unit greater than number uh, if you move it right side we say that there are no numbers that can make it go right further others will rearrange itself so in this case the scenario is if any number that is greater than that if we take that number if any number existing immediately greater then you consider that number so i can say that like six four three five 2, 1, for example, here, what did I say? 1 is greater than 2. So, I need at least to perform one operation to push all of these elements. Now, you see that 2 is greater than 5, but I am not bothering now because anyway, 5 is coming on the right side with the family of 2, so no. But if uh, 6, 4, 3, 5, 2, everything comes, 3 also should come to right side, right? Right side of 2. So, for that, 3 is greater than 2. So, you immediately come here. Similarly, if everything goes 3 4 5 6 goes 4 should come right so that means what 4 is on the left it should ideally come right of 3 so again this is greater 3 is greater than 4 only three operations came so there is only there is one more operation what is that operation uh, yeah 5 and 6 5 after moving all of this to right right 5 will facilitate the 6 to more right side so that's all so you just need to check uh, what are all the numbers that are one unit uh, bigger than the left side number and then just directly code it so for that we need to understand uh, how do we uh, implement it so if we take this number six four three five two one uh, for simplicity since we are using positions let's uh, assume index to be one based index and that is one two three four five six okay now this is the position array i need to keep track of the position every time i can't just go right every time i go okay one are there any numbers that are less than uh, that are greater than one two okay then again i go two are there any numbers so the time complexity increases so for simplicity we'll automatically uh, write down the positions so how do we write down the positions that is very simple since these are one to n our array based indexing also one to n we will write like position of a of i as i so position of 6 is what 1 that means uh, uh, if the number has to come here I am telling that if you refer uh, the first index on the original array I get the number that needs to be placed here so position of, position of 4 is what 2 so uh, that is see here it is just getting reversed right 6 is the index 1 is the value 4 is the index 2 is the value, 3 is the index, 3 is the value, then again 5 is the index, 4 is the value, then again uh, here 2 is the index, 5 is the value, okay, this is ultimately 6, now what does it mean, if we take any random example, if you go to the position 5, you go to the position 5 here, I get the exact number that needs to be placed in order to form 1 to n, now since we got all these numbers, we just need to compare the uh, subsequent elements so if it is not 1 to n what we do is we put all these numbers in a vector sort it and consecutively check two numbers suppose if these are the numbers I just sorted it 1 2 3 4 5 6 and just compare the position between 1 and 2 if 2's position is on the left side of 1 then I have to definitely uh, do an operation so I need to increment my result plus plus so then 2 and 3 you check. If 3's position was less, position already I have, right? If 3's position was less than 2, uh, I need to say that uh, again you have to increment the result. In this case, you don't have to use your vectors and all. You can directly do it with the index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what do you do? So the position of 1 is what? Position of 1 is this and position of 2 is this. So here what it says is the position of 1, uh, the position of 2 is lesser than position of 1. That is position of 2 is on the left side of 1 so I have to definitely increment my result I need to perform one operation now again you come to 2 and 3 2 and 3 if you come uh, it is telling that the position of 3 
that is uh, is uh, what can we say it is greater so 3 is on the left side of 2 so the index is greater so I need to again increment result okay then 3 and 4 that means 3 uh, the one that needs to be formed at the third index and one that needs to be there in the second index is again forming a mismatch here that is uh, 3 and 4 here that is 4 is on the left again I need to perform so 3 is greater than 4 result plus plus and that uh, position of i minus 1 should be greater so similarly 2 is less than 4 this means what uh, for the fourth and fifth numbers it is already in the sorted position I don't have to change anything so I uh, it's fine I don't have to do again 4 is greater than 1 that is for fifth and sixth if you see here 6 is occurring before 5 right so the position is coming greater the position of 5 is greater than the position of 6 so that should not happen so in this case again we increment the result so we got the result value as 4 so how did we code it let's uh, see the code first now uh, very simple we what did we do we took the vectors uh, you don't have to take the vector here you just uh, take an integer and uh, put that integer in the position track the positions of it and start from i equal to 2 to i equal to n we are always doing one indexing so 2 you start 2 less than 1 uh, if the first number if 1 2 is there we take the 2's position and we take the next immediate lesser position so if the 2's index is somewhere here is less than the 1's index then we have to increment the result that means we need to uh, move that number to the right side so that's all you just keep doing it and uh, you'll get the answer so what did we do we understood that uh, only way if we want to arrange it is if a number that is existing on the x value if there are some numbers that are greater than that number on the left side you need to put it on the right side so if you put it automatically other numbers will get rearranged how does that rearrange you take x and if any left number is there greater than that you just keep moving it so to make it simpler we told that two numbers should be consecutive only two numbers should be there but if we take x then it should be x plus one value so if we keep doing it we get the answer so this is the accepted solution if you want you can refer it and that's it guys see you in the next video